everyone i wanted to come on and do a really special um video um i've received a gift from sandra from sandra does tarot and the story behind it is that i was on a live chat simon's coffee catch up and cards a while ago talking to erin um the the book lioness about a deck that I really wanted to get hold of, which is the ancient Egyptian tarot. And Sandra had had a uh, job lot, I think, from that she'd got with all these different tarot decks in. And she thought maybe she might have it. Anyway, she messaged me and asked if we could get in touch. And I thought that was really such a nice thing to do and I was so taken um, back by by her kindness she wanted to gift it to me if she had it anyway um, it wasn't that deck but she did have a couple of Egyptian decks and I am very much into e e Egyptology the whole Egypt thing have been for many many years and um, I still am desperate to get the ancient Egyptian tarot but equally i have looked at the other decks and i wasn't sure you know there's so many decks out there what to get anyway we carried on chatting and sandra very very kindly and very generously actually said look i would still like you to have these decks if you want them um now i don't really have anything to trade so i i, and I didn't feel comfortable that, that she would just give those to me as a gift although that's really really sweet of her but i'm not very good at, at that so i said well look i've got a couple of trades going on where other people have very kindly offered um, me something and I've suggested that I make them a tarot bag as a um, a gift back and I won't mention them yet because um, I haven't actually spoken to them and checked that that's okay um, and this is the first one that's actually arrived and um, she was delighted with that idea I showed her a couple of pictures of ones that I've made and so I'm really excited to get on and make those for her. Um, I've been asking about measurements so I get the what decks she wants. But anyway, her decks came on Friday. Bless her, she sent them on Thursday and they came on Friday. So woohoo to um, Royal Mail who got it right for a change. Anyway, here they are. She's beautifully wrapped them. I haven't, I wanted desperately to unwrap them on Friday. And my husband said, no, you wait, be patient. So, and she's got me a little card. I mean, how beautiful is this? I, I mean, the generosity and the kindness and the thought is just amazing. So I'm going to do this online now. Um, I kind of don't want to, it's so beautifully wrapped, but it's my first ever gift. Um, and what a lovely lady oh it says rise like a phoenix now i i know this artist's work i believe this is a glastonbury lady who shop now i i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure i'm right it's signed on the back how amazing now i'm i haven't found out whether or not she wants me to read this out so i'm i'm going to keep this and read it later but isn't that beautiful absolutely stunning um, so yes, thank you, Sandra. That's lovely. And here are the decks. Um, I'm so excited because these will be my first proper Egyptian decks. I've got the elemental tarot, which I keep banging on about, which is, it has the artwork that's very similar to Egypt, but it's, it's not, I don't think it's actually classed as an Egyptian deck. So this is the first one I'm going to unwrap in beautiful red tissue paper. Um, I am so excited. Uh, it's like Christmas. I think it's just the generosity and the kindness that goes with it. I, it humbles me. It's such a lovely thing to do. Um, and meeting these people and getting to know them is wonderful. This is the Ibis Tarot. Now, I don't know anything much about these decks, even though I've been banging on about how much I love Egypt. I've looked at different decks online, but you don't get a feel for them until you actually get them. Um, so I haven't had... I, and I, I, Although we talked about what decks she had, was sending me, um, I kind of wanted it to be a surprise. Oh, wow. These are rather lovely. Um, I don't know, as I say, whether or not this is even a deck that's still in print. Um, 
it's looking I'm trying to see who it's made by but printed in Switzerland by AGM Agmuller not sure <clears throat> anyway here we go these are the cups as I say this is just fabulous oh look at the backs oh Sandra you are an absolute gem I want to give you a big hug these are absolutely gorgeous I am I am delighted with them oh look as I say, I don't know to what order they're in, so we're just going to go with the flow here, guys. And I'm just going to show them to you. So they're a kind of pip. Um, there's symbols in here as well that, that probably matches with the elemental um, tarot and obviously uh, probably goes in line with all the other ancient ones the um gill has all the symbology in it um so we have <clears throat> the slave of cups see that the warrior of cups now i know this symbol here but it's normally got a another line through it with which means fast active um action mistress of cups sorry i don't know if that's in i hope it's in and master of cups <clears throat> now we're on to scepters uh, there's a little white book so i need to go through that but what a lovely gift the three of scepters obviously these are i th do you know i'm i mean i haven't haven't seriously looked they're all in in kind of symbol i i'm delighted i'm so excited um i have no idea if there was a, a book originally with these they're not based I don't think on the rider weight so I need to do some work here but maybe that that they will go with the um with the gill and the elemental which I know I, I promised a video on the elemental tarot and I did one but it was when I first got the deck and I hadn't studied with it and I, I'm still studying with it. Oh, we're on to swords now. So those were ones. <clears throat> I wasn't really absolutely sure if we were going to be doing something completely. So, yeah, they're definitely um, a deck that I need to work and learn with. I think they're gorgeous. Absolutely lovely. But then if you love Egypt and you love everything Egyptian, then... I guess all these decks are going to appeal. What I liked, funny enough, is that I'm also reading the Robert M. Place book and there's a whole chapter on Egyptian myth and uh, the symbols and how it all comes together. It's a really good book. If you haven't got it, I can't show it to you because it is part of what's balancing my phone at the moment, but it's a really good book. It's a really interesting book. It's covering everything so it's quite a, a good starting point actually if you want to learn um possibly even different systems Just trying to not let the light get on to these <clears throat> i'm guessing they're quite an old deck we're on to pentacles um as i say I'm giving you very little information here other than the cards, but it's a, it, I mean, I've not, I've seen some of these job lots on eBay and I haven't got the courage, I don't know, to, to, to buy a, a set, but maybe it would be rather fun and see what you get with your job lot. Um, some decks that perhaps over time have just got forgotten about that, you know, 
might enjoy a revival and the youtube community now i think is is so big that it, it's nice to find a deck that perhaps isn't necessarily um famous at the moment you know that obviously that certain decks come up and become the deck of the month or something or oh, that particular deck is going round and round and everybody loves it <clears throat> and some of the older ones like the elemental tarot i found that literally through having a reading and i didn't know about it now i don't oh that's i think that goes at the end so we're going just oh, i don't know i'm not sure where the fool is so we're starting with the magician haven't seen his high priestess classic empress the emperor obviously not called the emperor he's called the cubic stone the cubic stone masters of the arcanas oops <clears throat> two paths <laughs> there's Patsy chariot Six. so I shall have to go through the book Let's see what they they say. Whoops, <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> it's quite an unusual one. That must be the tower. Star. This is called Twilight, but I think it's the moon. The beaming light. Resurrection. I love these mummies with their little heads uncovered. <laughs> <God, I can't. laughs> That's great fun. Ah, I see. So they've done the fool as the at the end which i believe is what some decks do he's got a crocodile with him and the the moon and the sun at the top so beautiful deck beautiful i absolutely love it um thank you sandra and there's more <laughs> this is the most exciting i kind of wished i'd waited till christmas because this is just the best um I, I'm, I feel utterly spoiled um, and I'm not usually one for ripping the wrappings off of something but obviously from your point of view I'm sure you'd rather I got on with it so here we go and this is the Egyptian Tarot by uh, Slivana Alsea artwork um, and it is a low scarabeo. Wow. I am the luckiest little person ever. I'm so excited. Comes with a another little white book. I think it opens up in a different way. Yeah, it does. So I'll have a look at that later. And comes oh these are fun. So this is the backs. I'm sure these decks have probably been done very different feel actually. These have got an a sort of I think you use the word buttery, which and these are very silky smooth. They're still uh, I mean they're, they're, they're lovely. Um, so these have got. Oh, as in Los Scarabea, all the different um, names in different um, 
countries and the papyrus pious is the I can't get my words out today is so they're very different style deck um and i could not be happier these are just oh i'm sorry we're not showing them very well <clears throat> they are just lovely the artwork is beautiful obviously i need to find out i don't i presume these are not oh, i could be wrong they might be taken from original pictures but um the hermit so at the moment they all oh, interesting one with a lion looks like she's giving him a dental check <clears throat> the mort i like that card um oh that's good they've got the same green dragony thing in here so i've got some work to do on learning about these things and i i noticed that i um i was watching a few videos and there's a lot of book reading i need to do on myths and uh, Egyptian myths, Greek myths. Um, what this has actually made me do is also get out my mythic tarot with the Greek mythology because we're on to swords. That's another um, interesting history that i want to i've read that i did read the book when it came when i got the mythic tarot and i i knew some of the um stories anyway but i think to study it um a bit more and it sort of you end up opening other doors don't you going into looking at egyptian mythology um going back to babylonians just trying to work out what it says. This is the knave. They call it the knave. <clears throat> the knight, obviously, on his horse. <clears throat> the queen. <clears throat> Wands. A beautiful bird. So, um, it, I find the more I watch YouTube, the more different um interests i i hear from other people it takes me off in all different directions um wolf of coins it does some lovely um videos on mythologies she's obviously studied quite in depth um her um history and also it's it by by listening to her and, and finding out about different um, authors that she's read makes me want to go and read them. So my book list has just gone silly. And there's also a couple of books out that Stephen Fry's brought out, cups that um, I'd like for Christmas if hubby's listening. So if I am able to get hold of the ancient Egyptian tarot, that will complete my, my Egyptian trilogy, at least to be getting on with. These are both incredibly beautiful decks. It, it is really generous of her to share them and to give them to me. Um, I am genuinely very touched it's it's lovely that that i've got them um and i'm gonna have so much fun with them because as i keep banging on about it the elemental tarot does have a very egyptian style to it and now we're on to the pentacles and the good thing about it is they're kind of all marrying up in a way um and you, you then get the, the recurring themes or bits and pieces that you 
get and when I was reading the Robert M Place book and then that kind of fed into it as well and I'm thinking oh this is this is really good because it it, it all is linking up in it, it, its own way so my learning albeit a little bit erratic <laughs> these are these are very pip cards aren't they <clears throat> um is actually I'm sure something must be sinking in by now hopefully who knows and there we have thank you so much to Sandra thank you for watching I hope that you've enjoyed seeing these decks and that um, it's sometimes just nice to to reshow the old ones and uh, I am extremely grateful have a lovely day guys bye What? <laughs>